It's okay when it goes through. So, <laughs> hi everyone, Minister Mark here, and this is Morning Devotion. I'm just so grateful that I'm able to do this today because I didn't know it was going to be possible. Father, thank you. Yeah, you are just so good. Mon Dieu est bon, 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 mon Dieu est bon. Il est bon pour moi. J'ai les loups avec ma bouche, j'ai les loups avec ma bouche, j'ai les loups avec mes mains, les loups avec mes mains. Si je ne parle de mains, j'ai les loups avec mes pieds. Oh my goodness. My God is good, 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 He is good to me. I will praise Him with my lips, I will praise Him with my lips, I will praise Him with my hands, I will praise Him with my hands, I will praise Him with my all. La 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 I'm going to do this walking around looking for network. No, no, no. Let me see. Maybe if I sit by this shed or by the gate. Is it good here? Yes, well, we are going to do with this one. Okay, fine. So this is it now, morning devotion, right? I am at a prayer retreat since yesterday, and we have some small downtime now. So I came to look for a quiet place where I can do this morning devotion. Please bear with me if there's too much sun or too much lighting and all of those things. You know me, generally, I am a keeping it big person, not too bothered about all of that. But gradually, I'm learning to be bothered because, well, sometimes some people, before they get the message, they have to look at the messenger. They want to look at every other thing before they listen. So today's morning devotion is taken from the book of um, Acts chapter 22, verse 15. Right. A constant witness. For you will be a witness for him to all men of what you have seen and heard. And even today, we still see and we still hear. Like each person, you know what you see, you know what you hear. Nobody has to tell you anymore. Because you have the word to read it and then see how it, it manifests in your life. You have all access to every kind of thing on social media. You have, you know, we have the pastors, we have people preaching to us, all of those things. So hearing is not difficult anymore nowadays. You don't need to even open Bible or big Bible. It's very easy to hear about Jesus nowadays and to see him. Yes, I see him in me. I see him in my life. Every day I see him. So Paul was chosen to see and hear the Lord speaking to him out of heaven. Oh, lucky Paul. You see, Paul, Paul used to persecute. Now he's the most revered man. Oh, la, 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 la. This divine election was a high privilege for him. What do I do? I, I'm not even seeing my face myself, but does it really matter? I don't think so. Okay. This divine election was a high privilege for him, but it was not intended to end with him. No, it was not intended to end with Paul. It was meant to have an influence upon others, even upon all people. It is to Paul that Europe owes the gospel even today. So where have you taken the gospel to, to the point where people are like, it is thanks to you, your family, for example, your school, your whatever. It is our duty to be witnesses as we are able of that which the Lord has revealed to us. Yes, it is our duty. What the point is saying you're a Christian if you cannot tell people about Christ or even show people Christ who lives in you, right? Okay. And it is at our peril that we hide the precious revelation hey god forbid though that me like this you see me you see christ or you hear me you hear now nah, i'm not joking and i'm not even trying to compromise or trying to delete that all those things passed no, nobody is standing on my way like i didn't even ask anybody can i, I just pack my i'm going for a prayer retreat i'm doing this i'm doing that i'm doing that i'm doing that i i'm old enough now to manage my program so and decide what I'm doing and what I'm committing to and all of that. And because God has done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. 
there's nothing that I cannot do for him, frankly speaking. Not that it's going to make anything matter to him, but no, 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 for the advancement of his kingdom. Who knows? Who would say, ah, I gave my life to Christ because of Mr. Mark. I believe in Jesus only because I saw the transformation in her life. My God, my mind was renewed. I believe I, ah, God, oh, help me, oh, help me, oh. And you know, my team for this year is shine on for God. So I look for all opportunity. So when I just found out that I could have data, I was like, I mean, I could have network somewhere. I just came and sat down. I was like, no, don't waste that downtime. Don't go and sleep. Mm -mm. I would have been up like since 2.30. Because we know my brain, when they say prayer is at 4 a.m., my brain will be like, 2.30, get up, get up, get up, go and bed. <laughs> so I was already up and about sweeping and stuff. <laughs> and since then, I was slept because we, we had a good morning session of about four hours. Man, you need to attend some of these things now. You learn. It's open. No, pull the other one. Okay. Yes. So, um, morning, mama. First, we must see and hear, or we will have nothing to tell. That's what I was saying now. We must see and hear, or we will have nothing to tell. But when we have done so, we must be eager to bear our testimony. Yes. You know, people overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the power of our testimony. I have been motivated. I'm actually reading um, Catherine Kluman's biography, right? If, if it was not written... I'll only be hearing about Kachin Kluman from whoever is saying what. But this one, I'm learning of things about her that, man, no, uh, all those preachers, nobody is saying, you know, people don't want to tell you, you know, you know, don't speak bad about people, don't tell their mistakes, all of those things. No, I even just learned this morning. No, we say that to sharpen each other, to let each other know that eh, eh, there's nothing you're going through that somebody else has not gone through. So catching Kluman, you know, having a failed marriage and difficult childhood, a difficult relationship with her mother and this and that. Those are things that we still go through today and then we know. But that did not stop her from being this powerful woman of God, right? So that is it. So we have to do that. It must be personal. Don't go and be talking about somebody else's testimony. Talk about your own. Even if you want to talk about what you heard from about, about another person, like I'm talking about Kachin Kluman. That doesn't mean that I will not talk about my own. No, me, my own is in like eight books already and I'm writing some more. So yes, you have to do that. Why? Because... It must be about Christ, what Christ has done for you, right? You want to be a witness for him. He changed my story. His name is Jesus Christ, son of the living God. He changed my story. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. That's the song. I think one of the first songs he inspired me to write after, oh my goodness, one tremendous experience I had with him in 2018. So yes, he changed my story. And there's no way he would change my story. And I will not go and stand on the mountaintops. In short, this year is my year to shine on for God. So I am backing. I boast about my God. I brag. You know, when people post and post and clothes and Say the grief that's showing it off and the this, the car, the house. That eh, me is my God. My Jesus, do you know about my Jesus? You see my life? You see the way I'm shining? Somebody say you're shining. I say, now God, do everything about me is God. Okay. And uh, it must be constant and all-consuming. Yeah. That's my pastor was talking one day about consistency. You cannot talk about Jesus on Monday and then you talk again only on Sunday. No, every day. For example, when God said, okay, you do morning devotion five days a week, I was like, yes, Papa. And then what about on TikTok in the evenings? Ah, yes, Papa. He did not even say whether it should be three or five days, but now I'm doing it five days, four days, as much as I can. I do it. And then I minister every Saturday. You know, and if, in, in between, I do things, I serve, I do, I go up, I come, I pray with the boys. I, Christ, 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 Christ who lives in me, the hope of all glory. Oh, my goodness. No, I must, so I must. And it consumes me. This is me at a prayer retreat. Do you think I lack what else to do in my house and all of those things? That No, this is more important than staying there in the comfort of my room and, you know, doing things. Maybe reading, you know, I love reading. Um, or I might, be, I might have been receiving a client today and stuff. But sometimes money is not everything now. So, nope. 
I told somebody who reached out to me, I need a session. I said, Mama, sorry, me, I need a spiritual session. Let me be going me for my session. Wait, your own can wait. If you cannot wait for next week, go, go with your money. What is 20K? What is 20K when it comes to talking about Jesus, learning some more about him, praying in fellowship, right? That's the word today, the synergy. That's the word I was looking for. You know the synergy? You know the power? Yesterday we were asked to hold the hand of our neighbor and pray for him. I didn't even know the person I was holding his hand was an apostle. My goodness, the current. Hey! I wish they can do it again today. If I stayed in my house, where would I see them? Where would I hold his hand? Where would I get that? And you know the transference. Pray for him. Praise for me. Who knows what he prayed for me for? Oh my goodness, God. What an experience. Ah, if I was not able to do morning devotion, I would not have been able to share this experience. So, and these are not really things that you can fully describe to people. It's something that somebody has to live. But you know, if you don't tell somebody that this is something beautiful existing, they might not even look out for it the next time. Okay. So, um, we are to be this above all other things and to the exclusion of many other matters. Yes. Look, the kind of things I've prayed for huh, since yesterday. I mean, we, we, we are gathered to pray for the success of the Getsemane uh, meetings or conference coming up in July. Last year in July, I remember visiting my mom and seeing the banner, but I did not understand where it was and all of those things. And I was still at a place of transition, you know, moving to Bonaberry and all of those things. But now God led me to that house, Planters Mission. I heard somebody talking to them about how they were praying that Father God, how am I going to get there? I just wish to greet her. Oh, I'm like, hey, me, I am right there. I, I can even write to her on WhatsApp. No, 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 I cannot take it for granted. Hey, that's, I, 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 I always tell her, honor the grace of God. I don't even want to write to her every day. I don't want to, oh, I have to open the gate for somebody. Can he open it himself? Let me open it. Let me open it for you. Yes, this is all about it serving. So you people should hold on. Let him enter and close the gate before I continue the devotion. <laughs> yeah, this is still witnessing about Christ, right? Everybody is doing whatever they can do. I wash plates in the morning. You know how I love to wash things now. I love to clean. I'm in a cleaning department. There's no way I will not wash plates. This is such a peaceful place where we are. My goodness. Oh, la, la. I shared it. It's not like I did not share it. So it cannot even be like I'm stingy. No. I shared it. So if nobody registered, well, there are people who came in from Betwa, Ebolova, and all of those places. So, you know, sometimes eh, people... The, um, take what they have for granted. It is after they don't have it anymore. I'm like, hey, hey where Kachin Kluma was my neighbor? Billy Graham went to primary school together. You know, they said Jesus. Hey, hey was that not the carpenter's son? <laughs> okay, well, so me, I learn. I learn, I learn, I learn, and I don't play with what I learn. I don't play with what I learn. So, um, yes, our witness must not be to a select few. We will cheerfully receive us. Yesterday in a chapter a day, we were talking about flatterers, people who flatter. Sometimes you only want by those people around you, those who flatter you. You are friends only with those kind of people on social media because when you post any of those, your pictures, oh, oh, oh yeah, beautiful. Na, 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 na. No, you also need to uh, um, be friends to people who tell you the truth, people who call you to other people who point out something you don't, you're not comfortable reading or listening to. And stuff like that and um, yeah that's what helps you grow and that's what keeps your testimony going right so nope you our witness must not be to a select few who will cheerfully receive us but to all men that's why using social media is so good you don't know who is going to watch and all of that so just talk and talk and talk to all of them and then well no not like I'm talking only to believers and this and that no way so to all whom we can reach, young or old, rich or poor, good or bad, eh? Jesus does not discard anyone, so we cannot be the ones to be discarding people. Eh -eh. You know, because if he was even discarding, we ourselves would have been discarded now. So no, we must never be silent. Ay, ay, ay. And I will not be silenced. 
I will always worship God as long as I am breathing. I will always worship Him. I will not be silent and I will not be silenced. Who are you to silence me now? Who are you? What are you? Give back to me or you are my mother, my father, my husband, my whoever. I, you cannot silence me. I've passed that level. See, now like that, they just look at me, my family. Nobody talks to me anymore about my my church and my prayer and my all of those. Then they just say, uh, that one soon should be receiving prayer requests. That's the new thing in the house. So, hey, hey if you have a problem, just go and tell her now. Go and tell her. She said, she will pray for you. <laughs> it's only by grace, right? So that's why I cannot be silenced. I can I refuse to be possessed by a mute spirit. For what? Silence for what? You know, sometimes people make people feel uncomfortable to be a Christian or ashamed to talk about your Christianity, your way of living, you know, dressing like this, your new your new life and all of that. For what? It's a privilege and honor that some people were there perishing in the world under the yoke of sin and Oh, immorality, all of those things. And sometimes they'll be posting pictures and making like, I have it all, I'm living my best life. So you too, show them that you're living your best life in Christ. That's why me, I cannot be silent. So when I saw this small opportunity to do morning devotion today, I was like, I will do it better late than never. Because that 4 a.m. GMT doesn't mean if you don't, if you cannot make it at, do it at 4 a.m. GMT, you should, uh, um, you should convict yourself, you should condemn yourself. Nada. Better late than never. Look, it is really John that will make you feel like if you don't do it this way and at this time, then the wrath of God will fall on you and all of those things. So I refuse. Me, I refuse completely. I do it. My, I, I discuss with my father directly now. So he's like, wow, baby girl, I'm proud of you. Okay, fine. So if you have an opportunity, you can do it now. And I'm like, yes, Papa, if I have an opportunity, I'll do it. I say, we chat. You want to have that kind of relationship? Look for it. Come, come what? what do we say? Chase it. Talk to him, you know, all of that, stuff like that. Spend your time like this in this kind of gathering. Study the word and go to church. There's a lot of things to do. Or even just go on social media. There are a lot of people now taking using social media to, to propagate the word, you know, to, to bear witness, right? So you can select only those kind of people on your feed. You must not watch all those. Wang, 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 wang. If that's not more for you, that's not for you. So I don't. If they even all, all those that are glorydims or whatever they suggest any of those things to me, I just click don't recommend channel. They don't recommend anymore. So there's nothing that is by force. Nothing. I don't watch those movies. I don't read those books. I don't frequent those places. I say even my own cousin was getting married. I did not go for the wedding. I just went. I did not go for the reception in the evening. I went for the wedding church reception. I did not go. And that's a child who grew up in my house. But I didn't want to go because I didn't want to go and be seeing people drinking wine and blah, 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 and then stay up late in the night on a Saturday, Sunday morning, you go to church, you cannot even focus because you are, no, nah, that's my choice. And I don't see why I should be ashamed to talk about that choice at all. No, I don't see why I should be ashamed to talk about shaving my hair, going bad because it's my covenant with God or, you know, wearing a t-shirt inside my dress because I'm at a prayer retreat. I don't just want to be, you know, sleepless like that and stuff. No. That's spiritual maturity. Okay, so refuse to be possessed by a mute spirit. For the text before us is a command and a promise. And we must not miss it. No, me, I cannot. I will be a witness. Me, I cannot. You know, I'm a lawyer, so I know how important witnesses are. So, yes, I will be a witness. I will tell of the goodness of the Lord. Hey, yeah. If you don't tell of it now, when will you tell of it? When you are dead, like. And then people are writing your book, Daughter of Destiny, The Only Authorized Biography by Jamie Buckingham. But you see, if she herself had written her, her autobiography, you can even know that hey, she wrote it herself. No, I'll take it for 100%. But this one is what something somebody has written. You don't know if they've added small salt or they've removed small sugar from someone, those kind of things. So we are encouraged to bear witness in words, in action, always possible. In short, you are my witnesses, declares the Lord. Isaiah 43, verse 10. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord. So, in both Old Testament, New Testament, the epistles, 
we are supposed to we cannot be quiet now we are the salt of the earth we are the light of the world how will you light a lamp and put you under the table even under the table it will still shine so please um that's what i wanted to share with us today right um my lhm tribe don't um hesitate don't let anyone make you feel like no you cannot talk you don't need to and be given any title, any position in church, or be given the pulpit and stuff like that. Eh? Look, call your phone. Use, make use of your data. Sit down, talk. Look at me. How many people now already? I cannot even count. I'm not interested in numbers anyway. But it's it's a family. It's a family, and that some people reach out to me by email and stuff. And so yes, there's also the impact. There's the influence. I'm just so 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 honored and humbled. It's a beautiful thing, right? It's really so beautiful. Be encouraged. When you start, it might be a little tricky and you might not have, you know, that's what people over like uh, <clears throat> support. They say, hey, people encourage me when you join me live. Ah, thank you for joining me live. Thank nobody, very few people, uh, in short, the highest that have joined me live since I started in 2021. When did I start? When did I even start? In? Maybe November 2021, December, eh? Yeah, this is 2023, yes, 2021, November. Before then, I used to do some, but sporadically on, on the Facebook page. But consistently, I started on, on the 1st of December, 2021. And I have been consistent and I've grown. And um, But people don't join me live, sometimes one, maximum two. But I'm not bothered by that at all. I'm not faced. I don't even go back to go and look. Whether how many people viewed, how many people like me, post share, I don't do all of those things. What I know is that the seeds I am sowing, somebody else might water them, somebody else might share, or somebody else will watch later on. It doesn't matter. All is that I'm bearing witness. And yeah, me, I wonder at the end of my life, eh, Papa God himself should stand and say, hey, good and faithful servant, you know, come my daughter, my darling, my mag, <laughs> I cannot wait. Now, I was talking with somebody yesterday and they were saying that, yes, they, they just, they're doing all of this also because they want to spend a beautiful eternity. They want to, they have been through so much here on earth. They're just like, Father, now I'm surrendering everything for you because I want to spend eternity with you. What? Can you people imagine? No, Mio. Hey. And now even uh, this choice that I've made, my life is so beautiful, so peaceful, so serene, so full of discernment like that. And knowing people who have um, like-minded people, it's also been a big bonus. I think especially of my sister, princess, and all of that. So there's a lot to gain by being a witness for Christ, a follower, a disciple, and a witness, meaning that you also make other disciples, right? Okay, so we thank God. We thank God so much for today. Father God, I just want to thank you. I forgot to pray when I started because I was not so sure the network will hold and see me through it. But it's done that. So I'm so grateful. I bless your holy name. I worship you. I give you all the glory, Papa. Ah, if I cannot bear witness for you, who will I bear witness for? Me? Another human being? No, Papa. Ha, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for my sons. Thank you for my mom. Thank you for my dad. Thank you for all my family and friends, Papa. Thank you for this prayer retreat where I am and for the intentions of the prayer retreat and for my own personal intentions, which you know, Papa. Thank you so much. Thank you for my Victory House family. I always thank you for them. Thank you for my Church Without Wars Evangelistic Association family. Thank you for my Bishop. Thank you for my Pastor. Thank you, Papa. Just thank you. And I pray, I pray this morning especially for this, for the few, for the remaining um day because we are finishing tomorrow yes for today and tomorrow papa i pray that you continue to release the words into the mouth of your different servants who, who are talking to us during this program and you continue to meet each and every one of them at their point of need father and for our sister who is not doing too well papa jehovah rafa you know how to heal and heal in a way that no human being can take that glory papa do it for her in the mighty name of jesus I thank you so much, Lord. I love you so much. For your mercies never fail. And all my life, you have held me in your arms and begs me. Even when I was as chakra as anything, 
you were just there waiting for me to come back home papa hey this kind god oh i never see your kind oh take care everybody until monday when i will resume um morning devotions right this evening i'll do on tiktok by grace if there's connection and then i'll post it on my different platforms and then tomorrow morning there will be ministration either i do it before i leave the camp or when i get back home whatever be the case by grace we are together okay god bless us all jesus you do well Lord. you don't make my life better you do well i thank you i gotta praise you forever oh you be baba Ah, Jesus, I love you. Oh. You don't think my life. <laughs> Sometimes you forget. Yeah, but whatever be the case, he knows that it's all about praising him. It's all about thanking him. And he is pleased by all of it. Okay, well, have a fruitful Friday. Mine has been so awesome. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed talk to you this evening and then tomorrow and um, God bless us all.